All right, welcome back, uh, everybody. We wanted to go ahead and break in and bring you now. Um, the jury has reached a verdict, and the uh, judge just uh, walked back into the courtroom, and we are expecting uh, that verdict now here in just a couple of moments as the jury prepares to make their way back into the courtroom. The court has received a note that says you have reached a verdict with the four person. You did complete the verdict form, correct? Yes, ma'am. You did? Would you hand the, four, the verdict form up just so that I can review it? I'm reviewing it for form only. I'll hand it back to you to be published in just one second. Thank you very much. All right. Would the poor four person, would the defendant please stand? And would the four person stand and publish the jury's verdict? Would you please stand? Mm -hmm. As to count one on the charge of sexual assault of a student, we the jury find the defendant guilty. As to count two on the charge of child molestation, we the jury find the defendant not guilty. Thank you very much. Would you circulate the verdict form to uh, the attorneys? Objection to the form of the verdict? Not from the state, Your Honor. No, Your Honor. All right, do we proceed to sentencing? Your Honor, the issue would be uh, if the uh, family members are available, we would be able to proceed to sentencing. Uh, are they available? They're coming, uh, they're here. the defense position. Are you all prepared today? Your Honor, uh, we're informed that the family members uh, would be available, but it may take a couple of hours, and I think we're pretty close to four o'clock at this hour uh, to give comment to the court regarding sentencing. So, uh, it would appear that we might need to defer sentencing unless uh, I'm not I'm not anticipating we'll be able to have family here in time for that process. You know. All right. What's the defense position? Are you requesting? We're going to ask that we defer at this time because I would like to have an opportunity to prepare for the presentation. However, Your Honor, the state does. Uh, recommend that in view of the conviction of this defendant on the first count that he be taken into custody and held in custody until sunset. Your Honor, my client has been out since uh, this incident and he has returned every single day of this week for this jury trial. We have no reason to believe that he would not return for sentencing. And you yourself have no that he's gone through a number of attorneys, and even with that, he has always remained in contact with the court with, with, with respect to this case. Your Honor, he has been convicted on count one. He has another case pending in Upson County, and we ask that he be treated like any other defendant who has been convicted and that he be taken into custody, Your Honor. Of course, going to take him into custody. Um, 
pending sentencing. Um, I have some concerns of my own. And I won't go into it right this moment, but I think we're going to take him into custody. And we will schedule, uh, I don't know how much time the defense wants, but as soon as you collect yourself and... Be ready for sentencing within the next week or two without... Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you, Your Honor. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we stand adjourned and, uh, at this time. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I sincerely thank you for your attendance, for your participation. You've been a great jury. Um, all of y'all hung with me from the start to finish. I sincerely appreciate that. I look forward to seeing you all again, or I look forward to welcoming you into the building. You might not come see me, but come see all right, so you're listening in there to that, um, the uh, excuse me, the verdict that was just uh, read down on Horace Bentley. And right now, sheriff's deputies, they are taking him into custody uh, and he will be held in custody pending the sentencing. Um, and we were just hearing there from the state and defense regarding on when sentencing will be. And they are um, considering that at this time. Uh, so again, if you missed it, uh, Horace Bentley has been found guilty on the first count which is sexual assault on a student uh, but the jury found him not guilty on the second count which was uh, a charge of child molestation and so our Mackenzie Petrie is live there at the courthouse and we're getting ready for WLB News 10 first at four and we'll have the very latest coming up in just a few moments uh, right now starting first at four.